What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all of the stats, as well as some excellent attachment combinations for every gun in Modern Warfare 2. And in today's episode, we're going to be covering the brand new assault rifle that was added with the Season 1 Reloaded Update. This is the Chimera, also known as the Honey Badger. And starting it off as always, let's have a look at our damage profile. And with this gun, it's going to be a four to six shot kill. And it's worth noting that even though we have an upper torso damage multiplier, it doesn't really come into play aside from the small second damage range, where if you land two upper torso shots combined with two body shots, you'll still maintain a four shot kill. Otherwise, it'll be a five shot kill. So that's pretty interesting. It's quite a forgiving gun when it comes to those body shots. Additionally, our headshot damage profile is excellent and you almost always want to be trying to mix a headshot in with your body shots because in most damage ranges, it only takes one headshot mixed in with body shots to reduce the number of shots to kill and that even applies to our maximum damage range, which is often the most important. Mixing just one headshot in with any other shots anywhere in the body doesn't even have to be upper torso. That will then make this a three shot kill and we'll have a look at the time to kill of that in just a second. But first, let's have a look at our rate of fire, which is 800 rounds per minute. This is pretty fast for an assault rifle. And what this means is our base time to kill potential is 225 milliseconds for a four shot kill. This is reasonably competitive, but not super fast by any means. It's very comparable to the M4 and it does increase up to 375 milliseconds at longer ranges. And that's actually a very competitive time to kill at long ranges as well. So while it doesn't really excel in the time to kill department, it's pretty good. It definitely holds its own, I would say. Until we mix that one single headshot in up close with body shots, this gives us a time to kill potential up close at 150 milliseconds, which is now going to be dominating even most SMGs in close quarter situations. So this really goes to show the power of those headshots, and that's something you actively want to be focusing on while playing with this gun, because that's where the Chimera really starts to shine. As for the next important thing to look at, this is our bullet velocity, which is slower than every one of the assault rifles out there at about 390 meters per second. Keep in mind that is a hand tested value, so it may vary slightly. It is worth noting this is technically supersonic, even though it's stated as being subsonic and it has all the properties of subsonic ammo in this game, which means when you kill enemy players, the skulls don't appear above their heads for their teammates. So this is well suited to stealth play. This is further supported by the fact that with the default barrel at least, we have an integrated suppressor, so you get all the benefits of the suppressor as long as you're not putting a barrel attachment on this gun. Next, let's get into our ranges, and the Camaro's got a pretty decent range profile here. Our maximum damage range extends out to about 24 meters, which is pretty solid. Then that short additional four shot kill range where you have to mix in at least two upper torso shots, that extends out to a little bit over 32 meters. And then finally, our five shot kill range will extend out to about 44 meters. So overall, not bad in that department. However, there's something really interesting with this gun. Many of the guns in the game, but not all of them, will get increased damage when you swap it into semi-auto mode, and the Chimera is one of them. So just on this screen, I wanted to show what those time to kill values are, as well as the different range values we get out of this. If you swap over to semi-auto mode, your rate of fire cap will be 545 rounds per minute, which you would need a very good trigger finger to reach that consistently, but assuming you can reach that fire rate, we get a three shot kill potential with a 220 millisecond time to kill out to about 28 meters. And it is also worth noting within this range, you can get a two shot kill with two headshots. Overall, if you got a really good trigger finger and you like semi-auto guns, you may want to consider trying this out. But for most people, I would recommend using this gun in full auto. It's just going to be far more consistent and easier to use. But after that, let's have a look at our hip fire, which is just standard for the assault rifle category. No surprises here. Then let's get into our idle sway, and there's definitely a decent amount of idle sway with this gun, so that is something to consider if you're trying to stretch your ranges out. You may want to compensate for that with some attachment choices. After that, let's have a look at our recoil, and this one's got some interesting recoil. Initially, it kicks upward and to the right a little bit, but then it curves around to the left. Personally, I don't really like left-leaning recoil a whole lot. I just have the muscle memory for upward and to the right recoil. So at really long ranges, sometimes I find myself struggling with this, and it can be a little bit awkward to take care of. But it's not like the magnitude is super high, and also you're not getting a lot of randomized bouncing away from the recoil path. So I do still consider this to be a fairly accurate gun. You just may not like that left-leaning recoil. Then let's get into our handling stats and our aim down sight time is pretty standard for an assault rifle at 240 milliseconds. Same thing goes with our sprint to fire times. These are very normal for an assault rifle. And then let's get into our reload add time, which is actually pretty fast at 1.37 seconds. 
This is just one little thing that I really like about the Chimera. But finally, for our base stats with this gun, let's have a look at our movement speeds, and honestly, they're all right around average for an assault rifle, give or take a little bit here or there. There's nothing that really stands out in any particular way when it comes to mobility with this gun. And with that, we can finally move into some unique attachments on this gun, and we're gonna start it off with barrels and their ranges. And we've got something very interesting with this. First up, the first barrel gives us a great range boost at about 37%. That is far better than most of the other barrels in this game. Usually we only see like at most about 20 to 25%, so that's great to see. Additionally, with the second barrel, that Op 40 barrel, in the menus it states that this reduces our damage range, but it turns out it actually increases our damage ranges by 10%. And it still gets all of the stated pros as well, and that makes this a very attractive option until they probably eventually patch this. But until they do, I definitely recommend this barrel for that reason alone. But then finally, the last barrel will improve our ranges by about 18.5%, which is also a nice boost. Then let's get into how these barrels impact our recoil, and as you can see here, that first barrel definitely cuts down on that vertical magnitude a bit, but then it does tend to drift a little bit more horizontally, so that's something to be aware of. The second barrel, this one's meant to harm our recoil, and honestly, it doesn't look really any worse than the base recoil. So then when you look at the pros and cons with this barrel, there's effectively zero downsides in its current state, which is excellent to see. After that, let's have a look at how these impact our aim down sight speed, and the first barrel, that Phoenix barrel, definitely hurts our aim down sight speed by quite a large margin at 310 milliseconds. Whereas once again, that Op 40 barrel, it's helping our aim down sight speed a little bit here, not by a super large margin, but it brings our aim down sight time to 230 milliseconds. And then with the final barrel, this one states that it improves our aim down sight speed. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to measure any difference here with hand testing. If I had to guess, this is probably like five milliseconds faster, but you'll never really be able to notice that difference in game. So there we go, those are our barrel attachments. However, we also have a couple magazine attachments, so I wanna cover those as well. When it comes to the 20 round mag, we're only seeing a very, very minor improvement to our aim down sight speed. With my rounding, this is roughly 230, more like 235 milliseconds. So not a very noticeable improvement to aim down sight speed. However, it does noticeably help our movement speeds. Whereas with the 45 round mag, this one does add about 50 milliseconds to our aim down sight time, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is nice getting that extra capacity still, especially since this gun has a fairly high fire rate and it burns through a 30 round mag pretty quickly. But with that, we can finally move into some excellent attachment combinations that I wanted to share for you guys. And the first one is my all arounder. This is the one I'd recommend more often than not especially with the current state of that Op 40 barrel. But honestly, even if they fix this barrel and it ends up reducing our ranges by 10% in the future, I'd still consider this to be a great class setup and I probably wouldn't even change it. So with this, we're obviously using that Op 40 barrel. We're using the Boar 490 muzzle. This one seems to help the best for this particular gun with its recoil. We've got the VLK Laser 7 milliwatt the Slimline Pro Optic, as well as the D37 rear grip. And when we have a look at the recoil on this, it's noticeably more accurate than the base recoil of the gun, so that's great. And on top of this, I managed to keep the aim down sight speed very decent at 255 milliseconds. And our sprint out time is also improved here by about 10%. So overall, this just turns out to be an amazing all-around setup with this gun. If you're in close quarters especially, make sure you're trying to land that headshot for that ridiculous time to kill potential. And you should be able to find a lot of success with this setup. As for the next one that I've got for you guys, this one's a bit more niche, and this is my accuracy build. It's designed to be used much more for longer range engagements. It's also pretty solid in semi-auto mode if you wanted to try it like that. But with this, now we're using that SA Phoenix barrel, which unfortunately does destroy our aim down sight speed, and it is quite slow with this setup at 375 milliseconds. So you definitely don't wanna be rushing around the map with this, but if you're hanging back, you can really pick people off. We once again have that Boar 490 muzzle. Like I said, it's just the best for this particular gun based on my testing. We've got the VLK Laser 7 milliwatt, the Slimline Pro Optic, and we've got a 45 round mag here as well, so you can pick off multiple people even at longer ranges when you're missing a few shots here or there. Overall with this one, our recoil is looking really good, keeping in mind we're firing 45 rounds here instead of 30, and we still get a lower overall magnitude of recoil, so that's great to see. And the only real big downside is the fact that our aim down sight speed is very slow for an assault rifle, but that can be compensated for with a simple playstyle adjustment. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up today's gun guide on the brand new Chimera Assault Rifle. As for my thoughts on this gun, 
If you're not hitting headshots and you're just hitting body shots, I do consider this to be just a solid all-arounder, doesn't really dominate or anything. A lot like the M4, for instance, although it's not as good at range compared to the M4 due to that slower bullet velocity. However, the moment you start mixing headshots in, that's where this gun really starts to just dominate everything, especially in those close quarters situations. And I actually think this gun is incredible the moment you start mixing those headshots in. So you definitely want to do that. And if you do, you're going to find a whole lot more success than if you were just aiming for the body. Now, of course, that is just my opinion on this gun, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Chimera in the comments down below. And also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes, we've now covered all of the assault rifles and almost all of the SMGs. We've got one more SMG to go. I will leave a link to the playlist in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.